We are getting reaction from lawmakers who were there as Ukrainian President Zelensky addressed Congress this morning. Political reporter Rick Albin spoke with Congressman John Molinar. Congressman, President Zelensky spoke to a joint session of Congress this morning, and I know that it was pretty powerful in talking with some of the other members. What was your takeaway as you listened in this morning? Well, it was powerful. It was emotional. It was historic to have someone in the midst of this war addressing a joint session of Congress. He evoked memories of Pearl Harbor, 9-11, talked about the innocent lives that were being lost because of this Russian attack, and he asked for help in a very clear way. Um, he's someone who's emerged on the world stage as a tremendous leader, and I think he has the highest respect from everyone across the board in that room. When you talk about him and the terms you just used, those are terms that I've heard echoed a number of different times, but we also know that he's made a number of requests in the past with people saying very similar things about him, but particularly, for example, a no-fly zone. The answer always remains a no. Did he do anything to move the needle today to maybe get more of the kind of support he believes he needs? Well, he's still he's requesting a no-fly zone, and I think there is significant opposition to that because it would basically put America and Russian uh, troops, uh, fighters, uh, you know, directly in conflict. But I do think there's growing momentum for the idea of MiG fighter jets from Poland being used to some way uh, Ukrainian pilots uh, protect the skies over Ukraine. To me, there's growing support for that in Congress, bipartisan support. We need the president to lead on that and to support that effort. Uh, and I hope that can happen. I mean, there's additional aid, military aid that's being sent today, but I do believe those fighter jets are important to protect uh, the skies over Ukraine. Congressman, as always, we appreciate your time. Thank you very much, Rick.